joy. I'm a mother, that's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. Siobhan, thanks for being here at HSN. I have a this day only for you. And that means something that is exactly that. The price isn't going to be as good tomorrow as it is right now. This is from Samsung, the number one manufacturer of this kind of head headgear, as in, as in headphones, as in listening to intense levels of accuracy and clarity in music. So for $59.95 instead of $100, instead of... 153. My dance partner and yours, <laughs> Bill Duggan, is here to talk more about them. I am. As I'm pretty stoked about this surfer girl terminology from, <laughs> from high school. Sorry. It's but, all good. Whoa, that's incredible, Bill Duggan. Headphone expert. How are you? <laughs> and the thing is, we're excited about these because, yes, yeah, Samsung is the number one set of headphones that we offer here at HSN. Everyone wants that Samsung name because they're known for technology. But what they've done is they've taken that design, that look, that over-the-ear comfort, not just an in-the-ear bud, which, by the way, we give you customizable ear tips, even customizable hooks if you don't even want the hooks, because this design can easily be in the $200 range. But you notice normally they are 100 bucks, not tonight. Listen to that audio. Listen to that clarity. All my controls right down here. I want to pause it. No problem. I want to take my telephone call. No problem. The hardest decision you have right now is which color that you want to get for yourself, that you want to give to somebody. Because the cool part about this is it's not dated technology. They see this tangled mess, they know it's dated. Right. They see these bigger headphones, these are more expensive and hard to travel with. Going wireless is normally cost preventative, now it's able to be given to everyone in the family for the holidays, for whatever. Right? Or oh, I didn't even know you were wearing it. No, I had it on. Listen, we have black, we have blue, we have purple, which is right here. Oops, sorry, hit my mic. Uh, and most limited, we have pink and we have green. For $59, anything from Samsung. Mm -hmm. I don't remember ever doing anything <laughs> from Samsung for that price. We have four flex payments and we have no shipping and handling for you too. And it, very one comfy. size fits everybody. Because you know most people have a smartphone. Android or Apple, yeah. you're covered, it's great. Yeah. But then if you have a tablet, you have a Bluetooth computer, you have a Bluetooth television, it's going to work. And all you do is you pair it up and then you walk away with crystal clear, great audio and comfort. And the cool part about this, if you're giving it to someone, it's top tier name, they're gonna be blown away. But it will fit. It works with all their devices. You don't have to ask them what's their favorite color or what's their you know favorite musician or shoe size. And if they outgrow those shoes or that shirt, they won't outgrow these. So this is the pink. It looks really sharp. And you know what's also great about this? Because it's not a hundred dollar price point. Yeah. I can get one for my brother-in-law. I can get one for my mom. She doesn't do a lot of gaming or music listening to, but she takes a lot of phone calls. So she can just easily put this over her ear, not in her ear, just have it hook on her ear. So if she's out in the garden, she's cooking dinner, she's doing housework or whatever, chasing the grandkids, she can still take the telephone calls and get great audio. And the thing is, you want comfort, you want it to look good, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't sound good, yeah. it's, big, it's a big want want. want, want. With Samsung, you know it's gonna sound good. They lead the way. Mm -hmm. Everyone else wants to be them when it comes to headphone yep. technology. So for $59, I know this may not compute. This is genuine Samsung. This is not Samsung gay or Samsung guest. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. this is the real deal. Four flex payments for today only. Remember, we have black, blue, purple, pink, and green. And what are you showing us over here? Well, this is what oh, something yeah. we can all relate to. I mean, it was road trip season. It's the kid. It's your husband. It's someone on the couch with you watching a game, watching a movie. Mm -hmm. And you're like, really? Do I have to listen to the game? I'm trying to watch TV. I'm trying to talk on the phone. I want to show you how simple this is. You get your set home, you pair it, you pair it once. I'm going to pop this up in my ear. I'm going to hit my power button. And before you know it, all that noisy, all that, sorry, I'm connected. All that noisy audio, it becomes silent. You don't have to hear it. I mean, how much is that worth? Peace of mind. And when it is Samsung, when it looks good, you know the kids are going to use it. They're going to want to use it. I want to pause it right here. Guess what? I'm hitting pause right here on my set of headphones, not even touching the tablet. So you see how I can control it from my headphones, so, so which is awesome. There's the pink color, which is great. Mm -hmm. That blue I'm using right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk away because you know, I have stuff to get done around the house. I don't wanna take my tablet or my phone. I wanna be able to pause it 
30 feet of range, I can control it. You know who I'd also get a pair for? Is my dad. Okay. My dad is notorious. We're trying to have a conversation. He's blaring the news. I'm like, dad, dude, turn it down. And the thing is, is like, I can't hear it. So you know what? He has a Bluetooth television. We give him the set of headphones. He doesn't have to dig it into his ear. He doesn't have it to- just drapes. Exactly, it just hangs nice and delicate. And then he can press play, increase the volume if you'd like. He's hearing the news, he's hearing the sporting event. We're having a conversation over coffee. Or I'm on the phone, I hear it better and discreetly. Because you know, if you wear this at work, it's a little, it's a little. They know what you're doing. Yeah, they do. <laughs> They're on to you. Exactly. Big time. But this is a discreet, and it's a really small footprint in your handbag. But when you do give wireless technology, and I got to tell you, wireless is what everyone is wanting these days. Because I, here's a newer phone. By the way, I'm going from Android to Apple. It doesn't even have a headphone jack. So it's oh, dated. Yeah. So you want to have a wireless experience. The hardest choice is you have your colors. So yeah. I can show you the blue real quick. I'll okay. bring up the blue so you can, blue, I'll bring up the green so you can see how that nice pop of neon. There's your purple. There's the purple, nice delicate deep purple. Here's your pink. Pink. Right there. Fun There's color the right there. And then you have a choice of black. And then, yeah. And I also have There's to remind you, not only are you getting the headphones today, because you're shopping at HSN, we're giving you a one month subscription to Pandora One, which is commercial free, which is awesome, because I got to tell you, we're at a, a party recently and all of a sudden, in the middle of the party, Party. There's an a commercial. Ad? Yeah, oh. and we're like, we don't oh, want that. Oh, oh. So you get commercial free Pandora One and three months to transparent, which is a way to learn a language. Because think of it this way. We're talking about audio, we're talking about movies, we're talking about gaming. Kids going off to college or high school, they have courses on their tablets, on their computers. I don't want to have to listen to it. You don't have to. Someone on their coffee break, you know, they're, they're taking an online course. They can do it in privacy. I want to show you another great thing about buying Samsung. As we like to say, there's an app for that, right? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna come to my level app. Voice is great. There's an equalizer built in. I can control my volume from the app and everything. And this is where they go a little further. Because remember, this is the level active. What does that level active mean? So are you a fitness fan? Do you like to you know, do your workouts and all that kind of stuff? What's great about this, I'm gonna resume my workout. I'm actually getting voice prompts in my headphones from my workout app. So I don't have to have it blaring in the gym so I can hear, oh, how many more seconds? How many feet have I gone? It will give you those updates. So, I mean, you have that person who wants to get in shape in January for the holidays, or maybe it's just you. It's that little extra incentive that Samsung gives you. The biggest thing is you gotta get it home. And you're saying it's a this day only? Today only, It's the show only, because yeah. it's the only show of the day. Right. Yeah. So it's not gonna be on later on? Mm -mm. No, it's only today. This is what you would wish you would find like on December 9th, <laughs> right? right. For, this is like, to me, like the day after Thanksgiving kind mm -hmm. of thing. For $59.95, premium quality. Out in retail, you can find this for almost $100 more. So if you wanna give that status gift, you wanna give the gift that they will actually use, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it's also kind of cool and hip, let's face it. And that's just it. I mean. Uh, I was on here recently with someone and they're like, what do you get, Uncle Bob? Like, I love Uncle I Bob. I Uncle Bob. I know he likes right. to fish, but I don't know what size waist he is these days or shoe or favorite color. This works for Uncle Bob. I like to talk about my cousin Maddie, 14 years old, graduated eighth grade. What do you get a 14 year old girl? What's her favorite color? Who's her favorite artist? I mean, they change their mind like that. When you give them something like this, it grows with them. They pick the content, they pick whatever. I mean, if you sat on the couch next to a kid with their Snapchat videos and ooh, all that stuff, it gets loud, it gets annoying. You're like, just use your headphones. And the thing is, when you give them Samsung, it's a premium brand. They're gonna wanna use Number them. One. You get great quality, you get a bunch of extras. And you're talking about Christmas. I know a few birthdays between now and Christmas. Of course. And if you do st buy these anywhere else, they would be $100. But when you have it in your gift closet, you have something for Uncle Bob. You have something Aunt for Barbara. that teenage girl, Aunt Barbara. Yeah. I mean, it really covers a lot of people. Whether Maybe you just want to soak in the tub. And you uh. know what? Listen to a little bit of jazz. Doesn't have to bother on it because these are sweat and water resistant, which is great. Or maybe you want to talk on the phone. But you don't want to have your phone near the tub. No. You, these will give you that clear. Or have you been in the tub and you have it on speakerphone? So okay. now it's echoing in the bathroom and now everyone's hearing the conversation, not when you can do it privately. Okay, so you wanna stay on the treadmill longer? You mm -hmm. wanna go for the walk a little bit longer? Yep. You're doing, you're listening to the music, but you're also listening to maybe, I know it's not a book on tape, but you get the idea, the audio books. That is, my husband listens to books like 18, 20 a year, thanks to those audio books. And here's a way that you can catch up on the classics, self-help, money management, whatever it is, you know, romance novels. Guys, this would be $153, mm -hmm. okay? It's now 59 here at HSN for today only. 
my dance oh. partner. I'm doing a dance on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, if I was at work with you and listening to my music, it'd bother you. It would bother a boss, it would Maybe. bother somebody, it would bother my mom. No one's having to hear it. Have you had that teenage kid with you in the car and they have all that volume all cranked up and you're like, really, turn it down. They think they're feeling the music and they're just, they're just blowing out their eardrums. When you have great audio, you don't need to turn up the volume. You're That's getting better drivers point. on the inside. And the thing is, I wanna pause and play. Can you hear that audio? It sounds great. And the cool part about it is, you gotta get it home. I just had to look down at the monitor. It's free shipping. Yeah. Get it home, charge them up, See how easy it is to pair? How do we charge them? How easy it is to, um, to control? It's quite simple. You just charge your battery pack right here, which actually I should talk about the battery pack. You have almost six hours of playback, 250 hours of standby time. I mean, how phenomenal is that? That means you can leave them on and not play anything for 250 hours. Your charging port is actually discreetly tucked away behind one of these, these oh, shiny very buttons. Very clever. And then you charge it up and you're good to go. But more importantly, we all want audio. We all have cell phones, right? Android, Apple, I don't know. We want probably the first thing we get is a case and then a way to listen to the audio, the games, the viral videos. This is a cool, classic way. And also, I gotta say, a comfortable way. Because there are comfy. other ones that go over your hair. People don't like that. Ones you have to take off an earring. I'm not pushing it in my ear. It just hangs, mm -hmm. right, like that. And look at this. I'm bending over, I'm doing calisthenics, I'm tying my shoes, doing yard work. It's staying in place. And I'm connected to my phone, my tablet, my computer and laptop. Anything with Bluetooth, you're good. Guys, it's Samsung. It's Samsung for $59. Retail, go ahead and Google it, whatever yeah. you want to do to compare the price. But today, this is, and one day only, $95 off. Is that even true? Right? It's $95 off. How is this happening for Samsung? Normally at HSN, it's $40 more. So think about it. This is like the day after Thanksgiving kind of special. And it's mm -hmm. one day and one day only. It's right here. It's right now. This is that darker blue. We have it in the purple. Beautiful presentation. And the fact is, is that it's Samsung and they will get it instantly that this is a status gift. This isn't a wannabe. This isn't an almost. This isn't, it looks sort of like, but <laughs> this is performance. So for $59.95, anything from Samsung, and th this isn't an adapter that's <laughs> $59. This is the way that they're gonna listen to their music, their favorite phone calls, mm -hmm. right? And those audio, uh, those audio books, whatever right. it is, the movies, right? All of those sound effects. I mean, the podcast, the audio books. Yeah. Yes. The courses that we want to take, and that, that's just it. Remember, I right. want to remind you, you are getting transparent for three months. You're getting a month of commercial-free Pandora One. That's because you're shopping at HSN. But really, it's the wow. When you want to listen privately, because you're taking that road trip to the casino for the fall colors or whatever, and you're on the bus, you don't want to bother anyone. You're at the casino and you want to listen to a little music, you can do that as well. I mean, this is just, it really speaks to everybody. Do a lot of us travel? Some do, some don't. But what you don't have to do is you don't have to be plugged in. You don't have to take the tablet with you just to go run to, oops, to the kitchen. You really can just leave the tablet in place, leave the phone right, on the and desk. And walk away. And yet you're connected. You're totally mm -hmm. connected. They are very comfortable. I mean, right? I've been wearing an earpiece for a long time and I know that that can be exhausting, mm -hmm. it can really wear on you. This is totally comfortable. You aren't even gonna know that it's there. It's a this day only at HSN. That is exactly what it means, right? It is what you see is what you get. It is only today, and this is the only presentation that we have for you, that number one headphone company mm -hmm. is Samsung. So if you have someone in your life who seems to have everything, they don't <laughs> have this, right, at $59.95, you are getting a steal right now. We actually have fewer than 1,000 available. Um, Thanks everyone, 545 already gone. Purple, blue, uh, we've got it for you black, in that pink, pink. and black. Mm -hmm. And then that's the green. And pink is on its way to selling out. Oh. 30 left. It reminds me of rose gold. Very nice, yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Look 15 seconds left. Free shipping and handling. We also did a special four flex payments for you on this. Thank you very much. This is good. This is not good. It's great. This is great. This yeah. is a great this day only. Mm -hmm. Really is. We're probably down to about 500 left now. Okay, stick around. I have more to get to in this hour of all these handy solutions. Thanks, yeah, Bill. My pleasure. Thank you. The true spirit of our country emerges during challenging times. I'm Bill Brand, president of HSN. When Hurricane Irma was approaching Florida, we had to evacuate to here, a temporary studio in Nashville, Tennessee. You were there for us every step of the way. 
that your thoughts and your prayers and your notes that remind us that we are one big, wonderful family. Thank you for checking in, sharing your well wishes, and of course, your generosity. I am thrilled to announce that so far we have raised approximately half a million dollars for all of incredible? those efforts. incredible? And know that 100% of your donations will go directly to the Red Cross. While we get back to business as usual, it's not going to be as easy for some people in Texas and in our home state of Florida. And so we really have our thoughts and our minds out to all of you who might be going through that right now. HSN truly cares, and we know that you do too. Thank you so much. DG2 is comfort, stretch, style. That bootcut classic was the first jean I designed. The super stretch is a technological revolution. I love the Ponte jean. It makes you look so thin. That comfort waist is going to overtake the world of denim. Once you have that perfect fitting jean, wait and see how life changing it is. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. from Luca Budo. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to see you as always. Anywhere and any place, Lou, I'll always be glad to see you. Thank so you. this is the Hurricane. This is the product that was made by fourth generation plumber, right? Yes. To finally get your toilet clean at $29.95. Are we psyched about a toilet cleaner? Uh, yeah, we are because it's Hurricane. Check that out. It's the coolest toilet cleaner you've ever seen. <laughs> It really is. Obviously. Well, and you know what's different about this, too? Notice that he's not touching the bowl of the toilet. Yeah, it's You tank. pour it into the tank, so it's a little bit different way of cleaning a toilet. It's so smart. Yeah. It's so smart. So, Lou, you always bring us great ideas and solutions. That's right. Now we have toilet cleaner from That's Lou. right. So how did this come to be, and how does this work? Where do I put it? Okay, so as you mentioned, it was invented by um, you know a fourth generation uh, plumber who you know basically he did it because he was seeing so many toilets number one that were dirty but number two that were breaking down because people weren't maintaining the internal components. Well, Hurricane actually cleans your toilet from the inside out. Watch this, okay? You're not going to go down and scrub on the bowl here, okay? okay? There's none of this going on, so you're never going to have to get in that part, okay? What you do is you take the lid off the tank on the back just like this, and you pour the Hurricane into this tank. Just tear pour, nothing more. That's all you've got to do. Okay. So, and you let it sit in there for six hours, okay? What I tell people to do is do it right before you go to bed. Just okay. dump it in there, go to sleep, have a nice, good night's sleep. When you wake up in the morning, you flush that toilet, it is going to be sparkling clean. You do that once a month, you're getting nine packets in this, so you have nine months of, to you know, single toilet bowl cleaning. Now, if your house, for some reason, your toilet bowl looks super, super bad, yeah. like you live at a gas station, that kind of bad, you know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> you can take three packets and you can shock it, just like you would shock a swimming pool chlorine, you can shock it. Now, the difference is there's no chlorine in this, there's no bleach in this, the main ingredient is citric acid, okay? Mm. So, something that, you know, we, we get in fruit and vegetables anyway, so nothing to worry about there, okay? Now, let's go over to the table. I wanna show you guys how this works, because once you've used this, it's kind of exciting. Now, it's one thing to see it here in the video, but when I show you this live, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh. Because when the water touches the Hurricane, we get a chemical reaction. Okay. And that chemical reaction le re uh, lets go all of these uh, bubbles, like millions of tiny bubbles that are gonna scrub your toilet for you from you the inside. That? Yeah. So okay. to demonstrate this, we have the cylinder sitting right here. Now, the volume of the cylinder is far smaller than the area inside of a toilet bowl tank, okay? So it's gonna foam over, at least I'm hoping it will, but that's the whole point. I wanna show you how this works. So all I'm gonna do is just pour regular water in here, and I want you to remember that in your home, 
It will never foam over the top this when you put in your tank. This is fun with science. This is fun with science. I've always wanted to do like a, a volcano, uh, you know, at a uh, science fair. So yeah. I did it here. Okay, good. But watch this. Now, as this is coming up to the top, you can see the foam is not just coming up. It's going down, too, to the oh, bottom. Yeah. This entire thing is loaded with foam, and it just keeps going and going and going. So in your toilet bowl, all this foam you're seeing right here is scrubbing the sides, the bottom, because in a toilet bowl, or in the tank, it's a moist, dark place, okay? Yeah. Bad things grow when it's wet and it's dark, okay? Dang. So, da yeah, dank, thank you. Yeah. Things grow there, okay? We're talking about bacteria, we're talking about slime, things that, yes, they're really bad for the components of the toilet bowl, but they're even worse for you. Because when you flush that bowl, when you flush your toilet, the water from the tank is what goes in to the bowl. Okay, so if you've got bad, nasty water from the tank going into the bowl, it's gonna atomize that. I know you hate it when I say this. I really but do. But it's gonna atomize that water into the air. So if you could start with cleaner water in the bowl, in the tank rather, it's gonna make the bowl cleaner. Now, also, Siobhan, it's also going to scrub the bowl, meaning that if there are rust stains, hard water stains, anything like that, the Hurricane is gonna take care of this. And the beautiful thing is, you do it once a month. It's brilliant. What's Listen, if you're lucky enough to have someone clean your toilet for you, you want this so they can get on with oh, other yeah. things, right? If you are the one who's doing all of that heavy lifting, you want this because it's going to be on autopilot. One of the jobs I had in college, I know this is going to shock some of you, is I cleaned houses. Stop it. I did. I did. What? I was not great at it, mainly because my friends were filthy. <laughs> so was it me or was it them? I don't know. But I wish I had had this. And this is what oh my God, yes. we're going to have for us now yeah. without having to spend, you know, a lot of money, a lot of chemicals, a None lot of, of nastiness. None of this. That I don't understand when people, you have these mm -hmm. and then they leave them by the toilet in the bathroom. You mean even if it, they in, have, in like what that. I like to call the dip cup? I don't understand yes. it. I really yes. don't. No, it's disgusting. Okay, you know what else is disgusting? What? Yeah. <laughs> Your words in my head oh, no. as I was driving back and forth from Atlanta and I had to use some different locations, right? A gas station or whatever. I can't get it out of my head, The toothbrushes. Lou. I can't yeah. get it out of Remember my head. Remember what I just said a few minutes ago? Remember what I said a few minutes ago? I can't take it back because it's true. Mm. A few minutes ago uh, that when you flush your toilet, it atomizes that water and it gets up in the air. So things that are out in your bathroom are getting a little bit of that water on them, okay? It's disgusting, I know. This is why I tell you, start out with cleaner water. Yeah, it's Start a good idea. out with cleaner it's a good idea. water, what's coming out of those jets. Now, let me show you another demonstration, and I love doing this because this is actually two and a half gallon or two gallon fish tank. Okay. It's closer in size to the, the tank on your toilet bowl. Uh, most toilet bowl tanks are like two and a half to seven gallons, depending on the age. Watch what I'm going to do here because I want you to see perfectly clear water, nothing in there. So we've already torn the top off of this, all right? I'm going to pour this in, and I want you just to see what happens, how it starts reacting, right and away. look at that, I mean, instantly, it starts foaming up. You can see that. Now, watch the foam, because here's what's interesting about this. The foam is actually going down to the bottom, yep. and it's rising at the same time. So, what this does is, it coats the entire thing top to bottom. Now, in your toilet bowl at home, this is gonna rise all the way up to the top, and it's gonna stop, okay? okay. And a lot of people don't, you know, when the first time they do it, I ask them, did you watch it? And they go, oh yeah. I watch cool. it. Well, no, you, you can't help yourself. Yeah, you, you have to watch it work. Notice it's still growing. So as long as we're standing here talking, this is going to keep rising and rising and rising and going all the way to the top of this. But remember, that's so you don't have to do anything. There's it's nothing doing it you for have to. You. I mean, that was you. What you just saw me do. That's the whole process. Because if I were home, I would have done this. Like say, you know, right before I go to bed, put the lid back on and go to sleep. That's it. That's the whole process for cleaning the toilet once well, a month. Well, and what is it? Tear, yeah, pour, pour. Nothing, nothing more. more. In fact, here's what's funny. If you look at the back of one of these, okay, I want you to take a look at the diagrams on the back of this because it's a, it's a three-step process, but really, there's your tear, there's your pour, and wait six hours. This part here is just walk away. That's all it's telling That's you. It. And the next morning, just flush the toilet. That's all. So, I mean, th there's nothing easier. Nothing. Okay. Here's the deal. Hmm? If HSN's going to sell a toilet cleaner, you yes. know it's got to be good. That it impressed yep. our buyers enough to say, yeah, we're going to spend about 10 minutes talking about toilet cleaning on HSN <laughs> instead of like <laughs> jewelry or something. It's because it really, really works. A fourth generation plumber created this. It is not just a gimmick or a, oh, I don't know, maybe it'll work. This absolutely works. Check out this animation so you can see the idea behind it. I mean, it's, it's great to understand it because I think it really helps with making that decision, yeah. whether you understand it or not.
not, it still works. And you're getting nine months worth. Nine months worth, is that you're, right? Nine yeah. packets, yeah. packets, one a month. Okay, right. Unless, like I said, your toilet's really super, super dirty, you've got really bad hard water stains, then you can use three for the initial treatment, and then after that, go to the one a month. So, you know, when you think about how much money you spend on bleaches, how much money you spend on these cleaners, these weird things, we have to actually like, get on your hands and knees and try to get this underneath the rim of the toilet. The jets are underneath that rim from the tank, okay? Yeah. So when you flush that toilet, the Hurricane's doing that anyway. It's getting in there and it's taking care of that. That's what's so great about it. And by the way, you know, one of the things I always tell people with this is there is no odor. There is no... That's a fact. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. so it's it's not like when you pour Can't bleach down your toilet right. or when you pour any of these other things here. You know what's funny is stuff like this where you pour it in there and it says come back in 15 minutes yeah. and then flush. I always forget to come back. Oh, yeah, you know what right, I mean? Right. I never yeah. do the come back part. So with Hurricane, you just put it in there one time and walk away. Walk away. You're eventually going to flush the toilet anyway, so it's fine. If it stays in there more than the six hours, this is not a big deal. And watch him do it one more time. Okay. Look at that. That's it. Look at it go. Oh my gosh, and it will not overflow. Right up to the top, no, Right it won't. to the top, it won't overflow. Although I'm going to make it overflow right now. You are, oh yeah, well, I'm, it's I'm, another science it's project. Another, another science but, project. But you know, some of these are gelatinous, right? They, yep. they try to be like gel, these other cleaners, so, so that it stick. will stick, so that it will stay, so that it will possibly work. Mm. This to <laughs> becomes a self-cleaning toilet. It, it really does. Because it flows through the entire thing, through the jets and everything. Right. It's well, so much better. The other thing, too, is we're used to dropping things into our toilet bowls or right. the tank or the bowl or, you know, whatever part of it, and nothing happens. Like, you stand there and you don't actually see it do anything, right. which is very frustrating, I think. Watch the hurricane clean. Again, this is a cylinder that is a much smaller volume than your toilet bowl tank, and the reason we do this is I want you to see it flow overflow. It's not going to overflow at your house, but I really want you to see this. Now, watch the reaction. Look how fast it goes. And the foam is clear top to bottom. It's not like there's a line in here with like water. No, that is all foam that's inside of this. Now remember, your toilet bowl will never overflow like this because of a little thing called surface tension, okay? But it's doing it here because this is just such a small cylinder for the, you know, the amount that's in one of these packets. Look at the way it goes right there. And imagine this doing the job for you. And that's the part I love. I'm a lazy person, I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna come out and say it, I'm lazy. So if I can get a product that's gonna do something for me, well, not just something. One of the least favorite jobs. Yes, it's true. House, this is okay? true. It's not just auto. It's one of those rock, rock paper, something. scissor jobs. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Right. That's why a lot of people are willing to pay other people, or it just goes neglected, which is. Yeah. Which. Really that's bad. when you use the three packets, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's been neglected. It's been. Well, isn't that a nice way of saying that? No, it is a very yeah. good way of saying that. Right. It's better than the way I said it earlier. But you know, if you're not a fan of the brushes. If you are not a fan of things that you put in your toilets that smell, and I mean like you can smell them through the whole house because they're so strong and they're working, and you've got to do those over and over again, and you still have to use these. That's the great thing about Hurricane. No odor, and there's nothing you have to do. You pour it in, you walk away, and it does everything for you. And that, to me, is really the sign of a product that's going to work for you. Watch this. And, you know, and it's amazing, too, because when they first sent it to me, I read the directions on the back, and I called the guy, the plumber. Johnny V is the name of the, the yeah, fourth-generation plumber that actually yeah. invented this. And I said, dude, what am I missing here? There's got to be something else. And he's like, no, that's it's it. You tear, you pour, nothing more. You walk away. And I'm like, no way. I tried it at home, and it was amazing. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to do one more demonstration here. Okay. <clears throat> and this, again, is simulating a toilet bowl tank, okay? It's a little bit smaller than what you have at home, but it's bigger than the cylinder next to it. Watch this. So I pour it in, mm -hmm. and I want you to see something. Watch the way that that starts working right away. It just starts foaming up. You can see the foam going to the bottom. The foam is coming up to the top right here. I guarantee you, the first time you do this at home, you will stand there and watch it f foam up to the top <laughs> of your toilet because it's so amazing the way that this works. Okay, and the surface tension, I'm glad you explained that. Yeah, surface tension is just, you know, it's like if you ever filled up a bowl and you look at the top of the bowl and you just see that there's like a little tiny bubble at the yeah, top, sort right. of, like a little curve to it, yeah. that's surface tension that All holds right. it in there. More Same science. thing in the toilet, more science, I'm the science it's guy. It's good, it's very good. <laughs> Clean your toilets by not really doing anything right. other than tearing this packet and pouring it in. Just pour it in. That's all there is to it. Okay, so we get the foams, hoping that it'll stick. We get right. the gels, hoping it'll stick. You get those little, like, yeah. little, little gel, yeah. like, a, stick on the inside on of the, the side. I don't know what those do. Man, that stuff smells. Yep. Um, the bleach, uh, really? 
I mean, I get it, right? Because we've all tried, and yeah. yet there's so much. It's great stuff. Don't get me wrong, but it's for toxic, other right? Yeah. For other things, it's toxic. It's not great on the the porcelain, right? right. So you've really, really. I mean, it makes sense why this is so popular now that Look we're that. finally launching it here at HSN. Yeah. Solid block of foam right there. Imagine. I mean, that's millions and millions of bubbles right there. They're going to be working inside of your toilet. Remember, clean your toilet from the inside out. Self-cleaning toilet. Self-cleaning toilet. I love that. Like, wouldn't you pay extra for a self-cleaning toilet? Would, I would clean, pay extra for self-cleaning anything, anything, but especially a toilet. Right? $29.95. Um, free shipping and handling. You got 30 days satisfaction guarantee. Try it. See what you think. And uh, you know what? It's the Hurricane. It does the trick. Seriously. I'm so, if HSN's going to sell a toilet cleaner, you know it's going to be good. All right, 559-443. Five, five, four, four, On we go with more great ideas. Lou isn't going anywhere, uh, thank goodness. We have a way for you to... Oh, look, 3,000 of those gone. I'm not surprised. We have a way for you to deal with, well, recreation as well as safety. And that is your cordless Airhawk Pro air compressor. My husband just used this the other day. Mm -hmm. The tire light came on, and boom, 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 off we went. No problem. Let me guess. You didn't have any power either. I didn't want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, yeah. so whether it is the air mattress, whether it is the float, whether it, what, the tire that, that really is holding you back from not doing that exercise mm -hmm. or bike riding, and it's cordless. How many of these are gone? 26,000 of these? And we just started selling these like midway through the summer, I want to say. I know, I've never done this one before. What? I've never had this on air with me and you before. So the fact that 26,000? It's amazing, right? That's a big deal. This is so smart. Okay, take it us is. through this. Okay, so let me tell you what this product is all about because it is not an inflator. It is what we call a compressor. And the reason I make that distinction is this. An inflator is the kind of thing you get with an air mattress where all it does is it just basically pulls in the air and forces it through. So it doesn't put it under any pressure, significant pressure. Right. That would never blow up a tire, okay? Right. This is a compressor. There's actually a cylinder inside of this, a cylinder, a piston, and you'll hear it when I start it, that puts that air under pressure so that it can go into things that require more pressure or have more weight on them, okay? And that's really the big difference. Now, you're gonna get this whole kit when you buy it today, okay? So you're getting the air hawk that you see right here. The unit itself looks kind of like a drill, yeah. like a little cordless drill yeah. or something like that, okay? You're getting not only the lithium ion battery that is rechargeable with this, you're getting the charger for it, you're getting this adapter right here, which if you look at the bottom of it, it has a cord in it. That's in case you ever run out the battery. You can plug this into the lighter in your car as well, your uh, power port. Then nice. you're getting these two adapters, one for your beach balls and, uh, uh, you know, that sort of thing, air mattresses, and you get one here for all your athletic balls, your basketballs, footballs, uh, you know, anything like that you can fill with air, and you get a carrying case with the whole thing, okay? So let me show you real quickly how this works, and the first thing okay. I'm going to show you is, and, and this is the most common thing people use this for, bicycles, okay? We've got a bicycle sitting on the floor down there. I'm just going to go around the front of the table okay. real quick. What's neat about this, though, and I'll show you more this in more detail in a moment, is it has a built-in digital pressure gauge, okay? And that's kind of a big deal, because usually you go to a gas station or somewhere, and they never have a pressure gauge that actually works. But the cool thing about it is I can preset the pressure for whatever I'm filling up. Oh, how smart. Preset it, okay? So if I turn this on, you're gonna see that turns on blue right there. There's a plus and a minus right here. So I can press those buttons to set my pressure whatever I want. If I squeeze this little red trigger right there, I'm just gonna squeeze that trigger. And it's gonna start. Now, what you're gonna notice is, I'm gonna walk away, okay? And the reason I can do that is because the air hawk will know when to stop because I've already told it that tire, I think, is like 25 pounds of pressure, right? So when it gets to that, it's just gonna stop all by itself. Now, in the meantime, while that's doing the work and filling the tire, I could be packing lunch, I could be putting stuff in the car, you know, doing all kinds of things so the whole family, done. Just like that. Didn't have to pump. Didn't have to sit there and babysit it and check the pressure over and over again. The air hawk does it all for you. You didn't have to borrow your friend's truck to I did take not. your bike to the, to gas, the gas station. station and pay two dollars for air free air. Yes. So bizarre. <laughs> so for forty nine ninety five, it's right there for you. Three months at sixteen sixty five. Talk to me about the charge. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Okay. okay. So 
The battery. The battery just yeah. pops off like this, okay. okay? And I've used mine many, many times to fill the tires on my truck, my Jeep, my wife's car, all these different things without having to recharge this battery. So it's gonna last you a good long okay, time. Good. The battery just snaps into place like that. Now, when I take you on a tour of this, on the back I already showed you right here, there's a little power button. I press that, the little blue light comes on right there. That's my digital pressure gauge. There's the plus and minus, so we can adjust mm -hmm. the pressure up and down, whatever we want. On top of it, here's that hose that you attach to the tires. Bicycles, cars, trailers, trucks, anything that you wanna put that on. That's going to attach there. Right here on the bottom, oh, there's a light. See, there's a built-in LED nice. light right there, which is awesome if you have to fill a tire at night. Then your adapters actually fit on board as well, so you can't lose them. Because I'm the guy that will lose these like in a heartbeat, oh, okay? of course. In a heartbeat. Let me show you another de de uh, demonstration. Though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hose off the top here, and okay. this just screws into the front. Now, sometimes you work with compressors and things where things just clip on. Because this is a real compressor and it's really under pressure, okay, you've got to screw this on so it's not going to come off. Then I'm going to take my little needle adapter that's included right here, and again, it stows on the base, and that part screws on too. And the reason you want it to screw on is because, again, pressure. You don't want it to come flying off, okay? So let's take this little tiny uh, volleyball that's right here, and watch this, how quickly we can fill this. And the reason this is a big deal, done. See how fast it went? That's impressive. I mean, it really is, okay? Let's do the basketball, too. The reason that you want this, though, to be cordless, let's say you go to the beach with the kids, right? Yeah. And you get down to the shore, you're 100 yards away from your car. Now, this one is really impressive. Watch how fast I did. Isn't that incredible? That's great. But you're all the way down by the beach, and the kids come to you, and they go, hey, you know, mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, um, we want to use this toy right here, okay? And you look at this thing and you're like, oh my God, it's gonna take me a half hour to blow this up. An iPod. Right? Are you <laughs> yeah. gonna walk all the way back oh. the 100 yards to the car? Or let's say that you're on the boat, maybe, and you've got a lot of towables that you like to take on the boat so the kids can ride behind it. You don't wanna have those inflated when you get out there, okay? You wanna inflate them once you're already where you're gonna go. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hook this up to the bottom right here. And I just okay. changed the tip out, by the way. So now can I've you, got the other inflator tip. Just sure, because that's, that's, that's the other inflator tip. Yeah, and there's there a nozzle in the back right this there. This is what you're usually like pressing with your teeth. Exactly. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that in there. I'm just going to squeeze on it with my fingers. I'm going to turn this on. And now, what's interesting about this too is at first glance, this looks like it's just like a little floaty ring, okay? But it's not. This is actually oh. a basketball net. Right. I see it. See it? Yeah. And it's dimensional. So I want you to envision how long, especially when you get to the part like this where it's actually having to raise it up. How long would it take you to blow something like that up? Or even to better point, how long would it take you to blow up something like this? That's right? Awesome. A big old full size ride on just takes a few moments with the Airhawk, but for you to do it yourself, you would be dizzy by oh, the yeah. time you got done. You'd be like passing like it around to your friends, exactly. hoping they had Everybody better here. respiratory <laughs> right. capacity. Okay, for $49.95 <laughs> with free shipping and handling, mm -hmm. this is fantastic. Three months at $16.65. I was gonna say it's gonna be a great Christmas present, but I think everyone wants it right now. So I wouldn't wait. This is great for, yeah, we saw the wheelbarrow, we saw the fun stuff, so it's work and play. Like, why haven't they always been like this? Yeah. Right? Okay, here's some more, oh, the car. Absolutely, the different, your, your um, lawn mower. How's that? <laughs> it's the lawn mower thing. The lawn mower thing. Anything, yeah. anything with wheels on it. Motorcycles, boats, tra boats, boat trailers. <laughs> That's boat what trailers, I mean. Campers, that. you know, trucks, cars. It doesn't matter. I mean, bicycles, anything with tires for sure. Plus all the things that you have to blow up around your house anyway, like the pool toys, like air mattresses, like all these different things. Your air hawk is going to be there for you now. I have a demonstration right here. This is one of my favorite ones because this really shows the power and why having a compressor, a compressor is such a big deal. So this is a metal wheelbarrow. Yep. It has a flat tire. Let's say you're going outside. You're going to go work in your yard, okay? And you get out there and you don't notice the tire is flat. So you put in the 80 pounds oh my of river rock that's inside of this. That's two bags of river rock. That's yeah. 80 pounds of river rock, okay? Plus the metal wheelbarrow. Am I going to empty the rocks out of there, put the wheelbarrow in my truck, drive to the gas station, pay $2, fill it up with air, bring it back, Take it out of the truck. Exactly. Put the rocks back in? No. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to my air hawk. I've already set the pressure. By the way, see this? That is a dead flat tire. That is a too. super dead okay? tire. I've already got the pressure set in this. I'm going to hit the button right here, and the air hawk's going to start filling a tire. Now, what's going to be really cool about this is you're going to actually see the tire start to rise, okay? It's going to lift the wheelbarrow and the 80 pounds of rock just like that. And then the nice thing is I don't have to stand there and babysit again. I'm going to stand behind the table over here. I'm going to relax yeah. while the air hawk is doing all the work for me. So I'm not sweating. I'm not huffing and puffing. I'm just waiting here having a cool beverage while the air hawk does the work.
Okay. That's what I like. You know, that so, is, there's that, a theme with my products Yeah, today. I was just going to say. Lazy man's products. Self-cleaning toilet. Yes. Now, self inflating air compressor well. that that is one of the smartest designs I've seen in ages. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, that's why over 26,000 have been ordered. No, and I'll tell you what, what's interesting about it too is like, we don't, obviously we're indoors so we don't have a vehicle in here that we can blow a tire up on, but the most common thing people use a compressor for is to put air in the tires on their vehicles. Mm -hmm. Because why? That little light, done. The, little the wheelbarrow, light comes on. steel wheelbarrow, 80 pounds of rocks, done. Done. It, that quick. Okay, but when that little light comes on in your car, there's a lot of reasons why you want to get that done. And the reason is that when your tire pressure is low, first of all, the car's not handling as well as it should. Second right. of all, you're wearing out your tires faster. Third of all, you're getting really bad mileage, okay? So you want to take care of that right away. But a lot of us, if we don't have time to get to the gas station, or maybe your gas station doesn't have air and it doesn't work, we put it off and we put it off and we put it off and that tire's getting lower and lower and lower and you're really damaging the wheel by doing that. When you have the air hawk, it takes seconds just to jump out, hook it up, put the proper pressure in there for your car. And once you do it a couple times, you're gonna remember what it is and the air hawk will just fill it for you while you're making a phone call, reading text messages, doing whatever, sitting there on the side of the road. And you're done. And you're done. Could Plus, be it's, easier. it's really not safe if you have a, a tire not. that's not the right no. compression or right right pressure. No, okay. it's not safe. These are the alternatives. So, well, these are the alternatives right yeah. here. Like for here, for instance, here's the old-fashioned bike pump. I haven't pump. seen one of those in ages. Listen to this. So I love this one. Oh. Does that sound like that's going to have enough pressure? No. To fill a tire? That no. sounds sad. No, and it's going it sound sad. And it's going to be a lot of work for you physically to do that. A lot of people carry these cans in their car and mm -hmm. they think, oh, uh, I've got air. This is not air. This is a sealant for your tire and it will give you just enough air to get to a gas station. So this is not good when that little light inside your car goes on. In fact, you should absolutely not use that. How much would that be? Yeah, I mean, seriously, these things cost a bunch of money and that's the thing too. Is And you buy them over and over again as they get used. Foot pumps right here. You know, maybe if you want to fill up a bike tire and take your time doing but this is a lot of work and frankly I'm not as good at standing on one leg as I used to be so I'm thinking that's a bad idea this who one some yeah, who is some people have these in their cars oh there it goes caught on something uh, but the problem with this is look right here it's got to be plugged in it has to be plugged in to your power port on your car and Siobhan if you're standing 100 yards away from your vehicle at the beach not so much yeah. or if you're on your boat not so much not so I mean much. yeah I mean so it's not really a great alternative now everybody always asks me about this this is what's called a pancake compressor, and I have one of these at my house. It's awesome when I'm working with pneumatic tools, but you know, I can't carry this around with me, and it's not gonna go in the back of the car, and if I'm stuck on the side of the road somewhere, I'm surely not gonna be using that. And the, one of the nice features, the best features about the Airhawk is that we don't have to carry these. And if you don't know what this is, that's a pressure gauge for your tires. When you, when you put this in there, when you stick it onto your tire, that part's gonna pop out to whatever your pressure mm -hmm. is. Can you read that? No. Neither can no. I. Look I at the little tiny of, numbers on this I'll thing. I'll be guessing. Yeah. And so, you know, this is not really a great option. With the Airhawk on the back of it right here, in big, beautiful, bold LED right there, you can see there's the pressure. And I can change that pressure by hitting these buttons. See that right there? How it's changing so up and down. So if you want 120 pounds per... Yeah, you just keep pressing the plus button okay. until you get up to what you want. And then when you're ready to go, you squeeze that trigger and the air hawk starts. And if it were hooked up to something, it would go to the pressure that I had set, and then it would stop. More automatic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have one of those. What, the, yeah, the pancake pressure? Yeah. yeah my, my husband's father was a diesel mechanic, so he loves all that stuff. It's a great thing to have, but again, yeah. not so much for portability. That's Come on like back hardcore. to here. Yeah, yeah let's show everybody what over. we're getting one more time, because this this really is, in fact, let me grab this too, because this is a I complete kit. I love the kit. case. In this, yeah. Well, this is it's everything really nice. right here in the case, okay? So I have the air hawk in here, I've got the battery in here, I've got the charger in here, I've even got the extra attachment so I can put it uh, and attach it to my cigarette lighter or a power port if I ever need to, okay? But look how slim that is. So I keep one in every one of our vehicles because you know to me it's like you know well yeah I mean it's the kind of thing you should have if you're carrying jumper cables or you're carrying a spare tire you need to have something like this in the back of your car for those emergency situations definitely or maybe you're helping someone else out yeah. too, right but you'll use Absolutely. this all the time actually I hope you never have to all use it for the tire for the car but having it there is peace of mind big time so use it for the fun stuff right well let's talk about that for a second okay. too so here's a volleyball okay and here's the interesting thing if you're a soccer mom or dad or like you've got kids that play volleyball or anything like that you know whenever you go to a practice you're gonna have like a mesh bag with like 25 balls in it okay yeah. and it's a big deal so I'm gonna put the inflator tip on here because instead of you sitting there with a foot pump or a hand pump right okay it's all attached right all there. attached right here to the base of, of the it. product so I've already put that on there I'm gonna stick that into the ball here and I don't really have to worry about um, knowing the pressure of the ball all I'm gonna do is just squeeze the trigger and just feel it every once in a while to see until it gets to the pressure that I want really simple to do but look how fast 
There you go. That's about as hard as I want that to get. So right there, you can see what a great job that did filling up that ball. Here's the thing, though. If you have an entire bag full of these, mm. think about how quickly you could get that done as opposed to have this sitting there. Okay, kids, hang on. We'll be right there. No. In moments, you've got the entire bag of these done. And it's 13, yep. uh, three months at $16.65. So if you have something that is an alternative, but it's awkward, you don't yep. exactly know where the tips are, yep. It's you got to plug it in, all that jazz, you're connected. Okay, here is your solution for under $50 with no shipping and handling. We have uh, 8,396 of these gone in that most recent order that HSN that. placed. That's the vast majority of them. I don't know if we're going to be having a reorder before the holidays. Uh, of course, this is good for every single day right now. But that's going to be a great Christmas present this year. I totally agree for yeah. everybody in the family. That's going to be good. Oh, yep. we have a couple of other things that you usually bring to us That's here. That's right. Um, these are the multi-cut 3-in-1 deluxe cutting tool. It's a two-pack for only $39.95. Yeah. These are awesome. We call them the 3-in-1 because it's a cutter, it's a cutting tool, it's a uh, mat knife, and it's also a splicer, as you see right there, a wire cutter as well. So you've got all three of those things built together all into one. You're going to be able to cut metal, PVC with this, wood, pretty much anything that you need to. You'd be some amazed how much I've used this the last couple days as a matter of fact oh, getting my I'm house sure. ready for the storm. Yeah, those are essential and I love that you're getting two of them, $39.95. Uh, customer reviews are in. You know, they may look like something you've already, you know, got some nippers or clippers. Oh, no, it's different. No, 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 totally different and you're getting both of those for $40, three months at $13.32. Read the reviews after you place your orders because we also don't have that many of those. All right. Hey, Diane Gilman's gonna be here this weekend with some gorgeous new jeans. You can go to hsn.com and do a today's special pre-sale of the virtual stretch embroidered skinny jeans. You don't need to be skinny to wear them and look great in them. And they're $49.95. Virtual stretch changed everything within the jeans world. And it's today, four months at $12. 49. Well, I say today because it's really a flash forward of how you can get the today's special today. Even though it's not today's today's special. Are you so, with me? So tomorrow's today's special? I think it's this weekend. This weekend? It's this weekend, yeah. Oh, okay. Very cool. Tomorrow's Saturday. <gasps> You're right. So you yeah. I don't know where did this week go. I have no idea what state I'm in or no. anything. Anyway, Stay grab confused. those. They're very, very comfy and pretty. I've been wearing mine. Okay. Because I have to look good in the, in the storm. Of course. <laughs> of course. So Very important. right now, we have a product that is another, it changed everything. It's the Bionic Steel Garden Hose. Yes. Okay. So we have different lengths. We usually don't, okay, because they sell out so quickly. 50, 75, 100 feet of a steel, steel garden hose. hose. Steel hose. Isn't that the greatest Isn't idea crazy? ever? I, I got to tell you something. When I first saw this, the first thing I thought about was when I had the, the uh, hose on my washer, my clothes washer burst. And the plumber said to me, you need to put steel hoses on there. And that was like 15 years ago, mm -hmm. okay? So I see this and I think that's the first thing it makes me think of, but it makes sense because you want a hose that's gonna be that strong. This is all stainless steel, okay? You can't cut it, you can't kink it, you can't crush it. If I take this hose and I pinch the bionic hose with my fingers like this, there's no way that I can pinch it hard enough to stop the flow of the water. Watch this with the rubber hose. See how easy it is for me to pinch that together, Siobhan? I do. So very, and that to, for a lot of people is one of the biggest frustrations that they have. Right. You know what I mean? Is that your hose is gonna get pinched and it's gonna stop the flow of water. Now, for me, I'm one of those guys that I'm good at like, you know, maybe getting two or three hoses a season because I always cut them, okay? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how I do it, I'm doing it, okay? Hedge clippers, whatever. I'm cutting my hoses, okay? I wanna show you this real quick because, I mean, it's common sense, but let's just do, let's go through the exercise, okay? Here's a rubber hose right here, standard rubber hose, okay? I can take a saw and in just seconds, I got a nice deep cut into this hose and that hose is ruined, okay? So now we're running out to the store and we're either gonna cut it off from here to the end or we're gonna get a brand new hose. And you can see that's a nice deep cut that's inside of that. If I take the bionic hose, same, cut, same saw, same spot, watch this. And I can sit here all day, I'm gonna dull the saw down before I actually cut into the bionic hose, but you can see right there. So you can drag this across metal. You can drag this, or, you know, I mean around metal. You can drag this across, you know, uh, um, Sorry, asphalt, dear. across your driveway. I mean, anything like that. And drive over and you're it. Not, yeah, and drive over it, and you're not going to damage this hose. And that's kind of the big deal about the bionic hose. So it 
Look, look at that. Yes. So it's lightweight, it's manageable, it's long. Mm -hmm. And you know, the other coiled hoses that we've seen over the over time, um, you know, we kept waiting, next generation, next generation, next generation, right. because the first couple of generations were a great idea. Mm -hmm. they, they, they didn't last, did they? See, and that's the thing. And, and I was one of those people a couple of years ago when we came out with all the expandable hoses. Yeah. I got really excited about that because I'm tired of dragging around 100 feet of rubber hose. It gets heavy, they get dirty you know, and they take up a lot of room, okay? So I thought expandable hoses were the way to go. Problem is that over time, the fabric on the outside starts to wear out. And once that happens, you leave them in the sun right. and the internal hose will expand and they'll burst, okay? That is not gonna happen with the bionic hose. This hose is rated at 600 PSI, pounds per square inch, okay? Your house only puts out 60. So think about that for a second. It's 10 times beefier than it has to be to handle that. The ends on this are rated at 100 pounds of pulling force. So you can have this on the spigot on your house and just yank on it and it's not gonna tear the end of the saw. It's not gonna rip. Now, the other feature though that we all loved about the expandable hoses was mm -hmm. that they were lightweight and yeah. they took a very little room. Of course. Take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison on the scales right here, okay? Because this is your standard 100 feet of rubber hose and here's 100 feet of the bionic hose. And by the way, this rubber hose, it will never look this neat ever again. Ever, never, never ever, never, ever again. The weight difference, 14 pounds over here on the rubber hose and only eight pounds on the bionic hose. So that's a six pound difference. Now when you figure in the water and everything else inside of these things, that is going to be a tremendous amount to you when you're dragging this around behind you. But here's the thing, because this is so compact. Look at that. This bucket, standard bucket that you'd use to wash your car, boat, or whatever, right? That's 100 feet of hose inside of that bucket right there. And it fits in there very comfortably, okay? So if you've always wanted 100 feet of hose, but you've never been, you've been had a place to keep it, maybe you've got a boat, an RV, maybe you live in an apartment or something like that, this is the way to go, because now you can have that longer length of hose right there. <laughs> You're not cutting it. You can keep trying. Keep trying. Yeah, you're not gonna, and, and that's the thing. I think it's hurting the saw, actually. It, it may be, I think it the may saw be. is not doing so well. But, you know, that's we can impressive. see the saw is plenty sharp because look at all the things, look at all the cuts yeah, that we've no, made in totally. the rubber hose here. We've destroyed this rubber totally. hose over time. So th that's why I say to people, this might be well, the last hose you ever, ever buy, buy for that very reason. Now, something else I want you to think about, okay? okay? When you drag, you know, r a rubber hose across the pavement, and you start to feel it, I mean, it's getting heavier and it's dragging. Yeah. We put rubber on the bottom of our shoes because we don't want them to slip, okay? So, right. of course, a rubber hose does not want to slide across pavement. The stainless steel on this is like quicksilver when it goes across your pavement. I mean, it is so light, it is so maneuverable that you're not gonna feel like you're fighting against the pavement when you're dragging this hose around. It just glides across there, almost like it's got like little tiny furniture movers on it. I mean, it just makes it so, so simple to do. But take a look at the two wheels we have over here because if you're like me, I'm a, I'm a fanatic that, you know, if I'm gonna put something away, I'm gonna, I want it to look good, and I want it to be yeah. properly put away. Look at this rubber hose right here. First of all, there's a kink right there in the hose. I promise you, we didn't do that on purpose. That's just from rolling it up there, so it's already got a kink in it. Rubber hoses develop a memory over time, and what happens now is that whenever I try to roll this up, it's not gonna wanna roll up, and if it does wanna roll up, then when I lay it flat, it won't lay flat. And it's gonna pull that thing down with And it's it. gonna pull, well, yeah. and also see how clean and shiny this is? Yeah, yeah. enjoy that, because it's never gonna be like that again. It's I, I, just gonna pick up dirt and mud and all kinds of stuff. Now, conversely, look over here at the Bionic hose, okay? Nice and light and easy to move, and it's so neat. That's 100 feet, this is 100 feet as well. I could put another 100 feet of Bionic hose on that reel if I wanted to. Now, the reason that's significant though is because maybe you live in a place where the homeowners association says, you know what, you can't have a hose reel. We don't wanna see your hose yeah, outside, right. but it's inconvenient for you, right? Yeah. Look at the flower pot sitting on the floor. How many feet is that? 100 feet in a flower pot. That's terrific. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's so, totally terrific. And, and that's totally what I've got going on in my house. In the front of the house, I've got 100 feet in a flower pot, and on the side of the house, I've got 100 feet in a flower pot. And I love it, because I don't have to go out and buy these hose reels, which break every couple of years. You know what I mean? I just have a pot, and I just put it in there, and boom, we're good to go. Simple. And the sun isn't degrading it. Not even a little bit. And you're not cutting off the heads of the flowers. I'm not cutting off that dragging it around. Or the roots of the flowers, because you're like maneuvering it, you're trying to lasso it. No, not a problem. This is the greatest thing ever. You know well, what? One of the most one common of the greatest questions. Things ever. One of the greatest things. Uh, one of the most common questions I got from people is, does it get hot in the sun? Ooh, good question. And the first time I used it to wash our vehicles, yeah. I thought to myself, I better be careful when I grab it. Could be this. hot. It doesn't get hot in the sun. It actually reflects oh. the sun off its surface. I felt rubber hoses get much hotter than the Bionic hose ever will. 
So another wonderful That's feature impressive. about, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things that once you get it at home and you start using it, you're going to fall in love with this. I know it sounds crazy to fall in love with a hose, okay. but this is just the better mousetrap We've when it comes to We've been excited about a toilet cleaner tonight. It's true. So, yeah, it's true. Actually, so, so. It, it's a good one. So yeah, why not get excited about a yeah. stainless steel hose, the bionic hose, aptly named. So a hundred feet, that's totally manageable. And if you have an older hose and the sun's gotten into it and it's baked and it's kinked, and it's, you know, kind of like totally unmanageable. I actually had one on one of those reels. Getting it off of the reel was totally ridiculous. It just it stopped functioning, basically, unless it was like in that one little area mm -hmm. where the hose was was deciding it wanted to live. It like was a 20-foot hose that decided to be a 5-foot hose. Here is 100 feet of versatile, flexible, yeah. super strong hose that's going to allow you to wash the car and the boat and water the flowers or do whatever you need Use to do. Use your pressure washer. I, I, I always like, like to wash that's the deck idea. of my... I love to wash that's the deck of my idea. boat with a pressure washer because it gets into all the nooks and crannies. And I love to use this hose because, first of all, it, 100 feet long enough to reach my dock, number one. And number two, it's light enough that I'm I, by the time I get out there, I'm not dying, I'm not sweating to death. Now, for a lot of us, though, the biggest deal might be this guy right here. It's that kink in the hose because what happens is you drag out 100 feet of hose and all of a sudden you go to, to turn on the water and nothing comes out. Well, chances are there's one of these little culprits someplace down that line. But here's the problem. You got to walk the whole 100 feet to find it. If I take the bionic hose and I do the same thing and I'm really squeezing on this right here, okay? You can see that I cannot kink this hose. No matter what I do, I can't kink this hose. If you were watching those videos we were showing you a moment ago, there's a woman in there who's spraying water on a second story window and she must have six or eight different knots right here, watch this, in her hose when she sprays it on this window. There, that's what I was talking about, yes. how it has this really low coefficient of drag. When you go across the surface like that, it's like quicksilver. See the way the knots yes. just pop out? That right there. Yeah. Look at all the knots in that hose and yet, it still, it still works. It still works. And you saw, you know what was interesting to me? How easily, she's just very casually walking across that driveway dragging the hose. If she had a hundred foot of rubber hose, I guarantee you she wouldn't be walking casually sauntering mm -hmm. across the driveway. She'd be yanking that thing across there, just beads of sweat coming down. Why wasn't she sweating? Number one, the silver, the, um, the silver, the uh, bionic hose moves much better across pavement. But number two, this the weight difference here and the size. I mean, look at this thing. This is a beast right here, okay? And it's 14 pounds without water in it, okay? When you look at the bionic hose, it is a six pound difference. It's only eight pounds for the hose, okay? So it's going to be easier for you to take it out. It's gonna be easier for you to drag it back in. No matter what you're doing, it's going to be simpler. This is a really good idea. And you're not going to worry it about is. driving over it. You're, you know how like the hose was managing you before, and now you get to manipulate and manage the hose. It's one of those things, household kind of deal that like we take for granted, and we just have been settling for so long. And maybe every season you end up spending, you know, close to fifty bucks on a new one. Mm -hmm. Why not do it right once and for all? Let's talk about seasons for a second. Let's talk about those. Because seasons. we're in the fall right now, and we know the winter's right behind us. Take a look at this photograph. Okay, that is a bionic hose frozen solid in a block of ice. Now, why in the world would we do that? Because we want you to know that you can leave this out year round. You can use this if you need to in the wintertime to spray salt off of something. You can use this year round to do things that you might put up. Because let's face it, we don't just stop having to use water just right. because it's cold outside, okay? But with a rubber hose, a lot, I mean, that becomes a very real concern because if you leave water in a rubber hose, what happens? It bursts, mm -hmm. it, gets, it gets brittle, it cracks, all kinds of things happen to a rubber hose. When you have stainless steel, you can leave this out. Remember, this is rated to 600 PSI, pounds per square inch of pressure. And what that means is, even if there's water inside of this and it freezes, this hose is not gonna crack, this hose is not gonna burst. It's going to work for you all year round. And that starts to become a very real concern for us as we're getting later in the season right here. But for those of you who live up north, don't think that, oh my gosh, I gotta put the hose away. No, you can leave it out. You're not gonna hurt this hose. You cannot hurt this hose. So for the 100 foot for $49.95, when you consider the 50 foot is $30, right? So 
you might want to go ahead and just get the 100 foot because it is so Look at that. flexible. It will even fit in this small, yeah. small space. And this is just a regular bucket that you would use to clean your cars. Now, you know why this impresses me? For people with boats and RVs, you get this right away, okay? But for the rest of us, if you've ever lived in an apartment complex mm -hmm. where they had a free car wash, and basically it was just a place where you could attach a hose and wash mm -hmm. your car, but you didn't have the hose, okay? Because where are you gonna keep it if you live in a condo or an apartment building? You know, you got nowhere. Guess what? Throw it in a bucket like this, keep it in the back of the car. You know, are you ever gonna need 100 feet? I don't know, but it's great to have, okay? Because it's, you know what? It's better to have the 100 feet and not use it than to have like 25 feet, but need the 100. Exactly. It just, it just and especially the way that the pricing is tiered. I mean, to me, it just makes sense. It does, it, this is, this is a great idea for the gardener, for the person oh, who has yeah. the boat and all that. Um, so if you're interested in finding out for yourself, you know, all you need to do is try it, right? You have the 30 day satisfaction guarantee. That's why, uh, that's why we're so glad we have them back in stock. The last time Lou and I did this, we had the 50 foot only, and we yeah. were talking about how you can attach them, <laughs> tra la la, and then it would be $60, but right now you're getting the 100 foot for, 40, for $50. Yeah. So it's definitely a better, I, Better idea, better value. 30 seconds left to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Lou. This You're is a welcome. great show. It was great to be here. It was great to have you. So we filled tires. Yep. Autopilot. We, we cleaned, cleaned the toilet. Autopilot. Autopilot. Now it's a better way to water your yard as yep. well as save yourself a lot of hassle and body stress. And body stress. And body stress. That's what we're here for. Hey, yeah. You make life better, Lou <laughs> Caputo. Try. Thanks so much for shopping with me, everybody. Stick around. We've got more great HSN continuing right here, right now. Looking forward to Diane Gilman with this weekend, too. Hi, everybody. Glad, glad to have you with us tonight. I'm Colleen Lopez. We have some very exciting electronics under.